So guys, welcome back to another video. This is a little bit different, I'm sorry, I'm just... I decided to stop making... Well, not stop, but take a break. The normal schedule is going to continue with... Uh, WoW on Tuesdays and Thursdays, Minecraft on Mondays and Fridays, and another game, which is MW2 right now, on Wednesdays. And just random videos like this on the... Uh, on the weekends. Sorry, um, but this this tutorial is gonna be a video. Well, this video is gonna be a tutorial on how to make your video smaller because I use Fraps down here to record my gameplay of like different things. So first, what you want to do is you want to go over to your Firefox or Google Chrome or even Internet Explorer. I don't know if I have it. I have it somewhere. But you want to go to this website right here. What you want to do is you want to search in the bar hand break and then just click enter and the first one uh, https handbrake.fr you want to click on it that's the same thing as this you want to download it I already have it but I'll download again just to show you guys it's safe it should go up here yep and just wait for it to download it's, it might take a little while for me it did. So what you want to do when you have it, it should create a sh uh, shortcut on your desktop. Don't worry, it won't harm your computer. I I have it, and it doesn't. It's not a virus. Uh, what you want to do is you want to open it, then actually and get a video clip. I have a video clip right here. See how this one's already 730 megabytes? That is crazy big for. 20 second video so we're just gonna wait for this stuff to load up uh, handbrake's loading up in the background but we're gonna wait for that to copy so then when you get in handbrake here you're gonna want to not have a full screen you wanna want to take your video drag it in to the right here which is title and then you can set a destination I like to keep mine like this that, that's that folder right there that's where I load all my videos but then right here I just have it as the source what the normal source was when I did it and no cropping I just have it normally but then if I go over to filters you want to make sure this stuff is just like mine you can pause the video here I'm gonna bring it into full screen you can pause the video Sorry, just making sure my recording still make sure it's still recording. Um, you can just you want to set it to MP4. If you want to make it smaller, just set it to MP4. Um, make sure you have, as I said, was saying, make it sure you don't have. Make sure you have it like mine, and don't check grayscale. That'll just make the video gray, unless you want to make the video gray. Then video, just make sure you have. You can change this around a little bit. This stuff and read it. But try and keep it the same as mine. Set this to none, main, and 4.0. And then for audio, you should have it the same as mine. Except for maybe the mix down or the bit rate should stay at either 128 or 160. I might just at 160. And everything else should be the same. Subtitles and chapters you don't need in order to make your video smaller uh, or the the size smaller. And now once you're done with that, you can either click start, which will start the compressing of it, and it will save it where you have it saved, or you can click add to queue, if you click that here, and then click show queue, you can queue them up so it goes one, one, one by one. I like to do that while I'm sleeping or at school, I'll just have them queued up for a while, and while I'm at school, they'll just be installing, or not installing, but shortening. Uh, but then you can just click start it's gonna prepare right down here and it's probably gonna take a while because I'm recording right now so I'll be right back with you guys when it finishes recording or er, when it finishes going compressing I guess you could call it so see you then so the So when the video finishes, it will say "Q finished," and wherever you set um, 
the destination to be, it'll show up there. So if I, ooh, why did I double click on that? We go over to, I'm oh, sorry, wrong folder. Save it right here, and it's right here. And so if I drag it, move it to the desktop, drag it over here. So this is the first one. It is 730 megabytes for only a 20 second video. And then over here, it's only 12 megabytes for a 20 second video. And yes, it does decrease the quality just a little bit. So that's what it is. We don't need to watch that. <laughs> um, and then this one. It's very... I don't know why. It's because I'm recording. It's doing that. I'm just saying random stuff. But luckily what I do... See, it shouldn't... It kind of does it, but it's because I'm recording. If I wasn't recording, it wouldn't do it. But what I like to do is I like to go into my editing, uh, my editing software, and render it out with the normal, the big file, so it looks really nice, and then compress it down. So when I render out the video, it looks really nice, but then it's still compressed. And then you can just, when you get, when it, if because I've Cantation, it's gonna say. This video is not found. You just select this one instead. That should work, I think. But yeah, if you like this guy, if you guys like this video, my next tutorial, well, I don't know what it's gonna be on, but I'll think of something. So if you like this, I hope it guys helps you. Uh, please leave feedback down in the description, or not down in the description, but down in the comment section. Um, thank you all for watching. Smash that like button and. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.